Good morning, everybody. Uh, I believe it's about uh, 6, 7 o'clock over here, your way on the West Coast. It's uh, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 10.57. As you can see, it, it did go up. They're reporting at 0 0.616, 0 0.16 rise. But uh, that's, you know, by their time from the last video I made. Um, I can't really give an exact number on it, but I think it's more like uh, between a quarter and a half a foot from the last video I made. I'd have to go back and look at it. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and go over the things that I always cover in my videos. As you know, right here on May 17th, hope y'all can see that it became the, the top level for the last six years on this uh dw dwr chart um let me check this just to make sure <clears throat> okay this is lakesonline.com most of my sites are um california.gov but as you see here <clears throat> it is uh 11 days now record high for the last six years and we'll go ahead and check on the outflows now as you can see here let me zoom this in a little bit and see if you can see the numbers this is a this goes back to the 21st to the 28th and as you can see around the 25th or so they they um well it's looking more like the 24th they dropped it from where it had been they had been doing about 12,000 and on this uh chart the highest point is 10,600 they dropped that down to 7,000 some uh I don't know about four days ago and they've they've went down to five thousand for what looks like about six hour periods. It's hard to really say, but then they go back up to seven thousand for a little bit longer of a period and drop back down to five. It seems like that's their schedule. So five to seven thousand is what they're uh letting out. To me it, it really signifies that somewhere around the twenty four they had a problem now they're reporting they have five turbines and i haven't heard them report on losing any turbines but i believe either um some turbines are having some vibration problems from spinning too fast or they're just not using one or two of the five they have because of problems like that and they're using the other say three if they had uh two out or using four and maybe they just want to take it easy on them i don't know what the deal is but they are still this is current this is where the arrow is at right here that is uh five thousand that's what they've been letting out for the last few hours and what they're letting into it by via releasing from dams snow melt rain uh people throwing pebbles in the river whatever you know adds to it but a lot mainly is what's being released that's what creates the streams for the most part is what naturally flows out of the dams uh natural little spillways like the uh, power plants or just flow throughs on ones that don't have power plants that keep the dam that uh, keeps the reservoirs at a level as you can see here they they uh they have a tendency to jump up and up and up up and back down up and back down and th these are times that they're releasing extra water and you know extra snow melt and rain causes these peaks i think mainly you know how much water they're releasing you know the owl manor had an emergency release where they up to the thousand five hundred that would definitely definitely add to the inflows and right here let's 
go over so I can get you a right number. 13,000. Now this is, you know, the last reported one, I believe it was from an hour ago. 13,000, and they're letting out 5,000. So, um, what, 8,000 more is coming into it than going out. Now on here, I want y'all to, let me zoom this out. Right there is the storage. storage. Don't want to mislead anybody. I was saying yesterday, it's uh, probably going to be less than 100,000 acre foot left. And let's go ahead and jump on over to this uh, page. And zoom out. There's your capacity. And we're, we can never mind the 3 million. You just focus on the 537,000. 537,000. Here you got 439. You have 98,000 acre foot left. And yeah, the wider, the higher it gets, you know, the more has to come into it. But you've got 13,000 coming in. And for whatever reason, they're only letting out 5,000. Um, let me uh, zoom this back out. See, California.gov. You can go to these sites yourself. California. Let's see, cdec.water.california.gov slash a lot of stuff. The links are on my other video, but they're letting out 5,000. And from whatever they're releasing, snow melt, rain, mudslides, what what have you that goes into the creeks and streams, you got thirteen thousand, so you've got a surplus of eight thousand cubic foot a second. And what I was talking about yesterday is these uh totals right here. This line to the right is how much the uh reservoir changed. Now about a week ago, a week and a day ago, something like that, it actually slowed down enough to where it went down 2,000 acre foot, but the next day it went back up 2,000. Then 3, 3.3, 5, 10.6, 12,000, 8.6, 12,000.5. And I was saying if it keeps up, then this would have been like 15,000. You see, it slowed back down, so that's a good thing. But I don't see how it slowed back down because that the inflows uh, went up and the outflows stayed five and seven, same schedule. So this shouldn't have went down that best. It should have stayed the same, but regardless, uh, it is what it is. That's what they're reporting. This is the number I'm watching. You've got 3,439,000. As you've seen, you only have 537,000 before you're at full pool. Now, full pool means it, it's at the top of the dam. You know, it, one more foot, and then you got a foot of water coming over it. So, you have uh, 98,000, well, about 97,000, about 97,000 cubic acre foot. Well, not cubic acre foot, my, my bad. You, you got 97,000 acre foot left before it hits full. And right now, just to recap, I'm going to do like I do a lot of times. I'm going to refresh this, see if, see if it changes, updates any. Okay, it did. It went from 0.93 to 0.97. So I'm going to check my other ones. 
They're letting out about 5,000 on that. Nothing changed. About 5,000. They're letting out 13,000 on this one. Well, that line is right under 13,000. Between 12 and a half and 13, it's right under 13. So 12,750. I'm going to refresh that, see if it changes. Okay, that stayed the same. And I do not believe they're going to update this till later on in the day. Scroll down. No, you still don't have today's totals, but as of yesterday, you had 97,000 acre foot left to fill up. So that that's the official number on what you got left to fill up. And you're now at 6.03 feet. At .03, you can ignore that. You're at six feet from being full. I mean, that's, that's pretty close. This is really getting beyond my comfort level. And uh, once again, this is the 28th, and it has been a record high for each day, starting on the 17th, 18th, 19th, all the way to the 28th, starting May 17th. It has been a record level high. In 2016, as you see, it goes down, starting from this day here, it's down, down, further down, all of them. Go ahead and pull up the other two years. All of them are going down this time of year. So this is breaking the average, it's breaking the norm. And it does, uh, if you can see it, it it's hard to really tell, but if you look at this line right here, it's still going up while everything else is going down. See if I can see that. And that line up there that it's about to touch, that is the line that's touching that. That is the day, that is 2017. You see the dates down there. March is right there. Beside it, I believe it happened in February 2017. And that's when it overflowed. That's how far it is from it. You know, um, 2016 got almost that high at some points, but not quite. So they're, they're really uh, pushing the limit on this. I'm going to leave you with that. I hope y'all have a good day. I hope this uh, helps shed a little bit of light on everything. And um, I'm going to keep an eye on this because of the level it's at. And uh, I'll keep making these videos for y'all. Y'all have a good day and God bless.